Welcome to this episode of On Photography. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a bit of unboxing and discussion. I got this in, and this is, I, I think this is really cool. I'm excited to, to have found this. Uh, wasn't that expensive. I think maybe like 24 bucks. I'm not even sure it was that much. So I went ahead and got it, and you guys will see why in a minute. So what, what is it? Let's take a look. So if I pop this open, this is what it is. Yay! Okay. You're still asking, probably, Joe, what is this? All right, so let's take it out of the bag. So I can tell you it's made out of metal, and it's heavy, and that's a good thing. And, uh, okay, I got tired of playing with the bag already. And it's being ornery. So, now we got this out. So this is actually, um, I don't know what you call it. What do they call it? I'll have to look what they actually formally call it. It's 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 a stand, so you can put this on a tripod. You can put this on a slider, which, by the way, I also have another channel, the Open Slider Project. I'll have that in the links below, uh, where I build my own camera sliders and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, um, that's where that stuff's at. But this one is sort of an elevated slider. Now you can kind of see how it, it works. So it's uh, got a couple different mounts. So it's got a three eighths and a quarter, uh, quarter twenty mount to mount on a tripod or you know it's got the feet so it sits on the table like this. So, uh, um, and before I get too far into this, it does look like it comes with some adapters uh, to take the three eighths uh, down to a quarter twenty. So, because you notice both of these are a little bit offset of the dead center, but I think that that's probably okay. However, what I really got this for was, was not so much uh, putting it on a tripod but actually sitting it on a desk because now look at this big knob down here I really like this so it makes it very easy to take a camera like the M1 and place the key EM1 on here and then set this down now this is gonna fall over so I gotta probably have to move it back so its center of gravity is further back. Whoops. Yeah. There we go. So now its center of gravity is further back. Now I can also <laughs> depends flip this around like that also. So I can set it to so if I want to photograph this piece, say I want to do some macro or some time-lapse work, which is what I want to do. I can set the camera like that, and voila, you know, I'm, it's, it's working like a very adjustable table tripod. You know, so I can get very particular on the angles. And um, I believe that's what the, the Allen wrench is for, because I believe you can actually, yes, you can tighten up these to make it stiffer if it loosens up because you see it's wanting to move and so I could use that Allen wrench now to set it in position and stiffen it up but uh, again I can you know if I turn on you can probably see a little bit of the screen and, and let's maybe do that uh, just for grins and giggles but I gotta take the lens cap off first Joe alright so now you can see that I can now, I've now got it set up. Um, now I, I need a macro lens or something like that, but what I want to do with this is I have some um, light boxes and what I want to what I want to set up is the light box and put um, something in the light box and do a time lapse of whatever action is happening of that object. And what I want to be able to do is have this adjustable uh, so I can set this up. And what I like about it is if I get, one, say, one of my Manfrotto's. So if I take one of my Manfrotto's and I set it up to try to do the same thing, my height, <clears throat> excuse me, my height is fixed. With this, I can, I can adjust my height to wherever I need to be in here, uh, as well as the angle. So here I can adjust the angle too, but my height is fixed. And that's what I really like about it. The second thing I can do is mentioned as I can mount this on a slider. And then I can get a far more articulation with it on the slider. Now, I'm also intending to 3D print design 
uh, some other aspects because one of the pieces that you've probably seen, um, I forget the name of the car, I always see their advertisement on YouTube, but they have something like this that's motorized that wheels around and you can actually get some knockoffs of that rather cheap uh, from Tauntaun and I think even Banggood. I'll be looking at probably doing some reviews at, of that in the future. Uh, but what happens is they just have an eighth or three eighth or a quarter twenty at the top. And I can mount this on top of it. So I can do a lot of different things with this bracket. This is really, really a cool bracket. I think this will be really, really handy in the future. So anyways, kind of want to share with you guys. I'll have links for this down below. But, um, you know, look forward to me doing quite a few things with this, especially as we're coming up on winter now. So uh, I'm going to be doing some more indoor shoots with things and especially time lapses. I'm really going through this thing of fascination with time and hyperlapses. So... Uh, that's what I'm kind of gearing up for. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe over there. Um, again, put out regular content. Hey, do you got one of these? Let me know how you're using it in the comments below. What do you think of this? Is it a value? Is it not? Um, hit me up. Cheers. See you guys in the next video.